It is Rhapsody time. Amen. I want to thank Pastor Mike for this opportunity to read Rhapsody this morning and thank Pastor Chris for making this available to all of us um, around the entire world. So we're all blessed by our Rhapsodies. Um, if you do not have a Rhapsody, please uh, raise your hand and we can, our usher can definitely get one in your hand. Amen. So today's uh, Sunday, June 9th, and the message for today in our Rhapsody is the eternal nature of his ministry. And reading from scripture, Psalm chapter 32, verse 8, it says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. If Moses, David, Isaiah, Job, King Solomon, Micah, or any of the prophets of the old were to show up in the scene today, what will they say to us? Think about it. If the apostles Peter, Paul, James, or even John were to appear to you today to minister to you, what would they say? Pastor says, I can tell you, Pastor Chris, yes, he says, I can tell you what they would say. They would say to you exactly what's in their writings. They wouldn't say anything more because their ministries were sealed with those writings. They can't add to it. But the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, is different. Amen. The difference with Jesus is that his death didn't end or seal his ministry. Hallelujah. He arose and continued his ministry till this day. So if the Lord Jesus were to appear to you today, he could say new things. Amen. And he is saying new things, but they'll be consistent with what he already said. Hallelujah. In John chapter 16, verses 12 through 15, he said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot hear them now. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Hallelujah. He shall glorify me. For he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. Amen. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore, said I, that he shall take of mine and he and shall show it unto you. Amen. The difference between the Lord Jesus and the prophets and apostles of old is the eternal nature of his ministry. He sent the Holy Spirit to continue his ministry among us. Hallelujah. That's exciting. That's yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. His words possess. Listen to this. His words possess an eternal relevance that transcends time and circumstances. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. It transcends time and circumstances. So think about any circumstance that you have today. You don't have it, but it's there. You see, his words possess. His words triumphs over all of that. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We're winning. We're winning. He said of the Holy Spirit, he shall take of mine and show it to you. The Holy Spirit imparts the essence of Jesus' ministry to us teaching us, speaking to us, and guiding us into all truth. The divine partnership ensures that the extraordinary ministry of the Lord Jesus endures in us, through us, and among us, even in this present age. Hallelujah. You know, um, I had um, spoken to our man of God, Pastor Mike, um, last week with some questions about just me personally and some decisions that um, I, I was facing. And this right here, you know, he spoke it to me. And it's like, don't let your circumstances, don't let people, don't let your um, the flesh or the senses dictate your decisions. Because what happens is, you know, you make these decisions and then you're asking God to intervene. 
after you've made decisions. So learn to hear God's voice. And we're hearing God's voice through the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is always talking. So if you're not hearing him clearly, then incorporate fasting. You know, so fast, pray, Lord, I, I'm always, I'm hearing, allow me to hear your voice before I make these decisions. And he's going to help us. He's our helper. Amen. So again, whatever the situations are, ask to and seek from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go ahead and definitely go back and read the uh, scripture, scripture readings because they're awesome. Uh, go ahead and repeat after me, dear Father, and mean it with your whole heart, dear Father. Dear Father thank you for the eternal nature of your ministry. I discern your voice amidst the clamor of the world, and I yield myself to the Holy Spirit who guides me into deeper revelation of your truth. I'm indeed a conduit of your love and grace as you continue to transform and impact lives through me. In Jesus' name, amen.